Before I start today's video, I just want a help from you guys. Please support and subscribe my new YouTube channel that is JustSetic 2.0. I know it's not new now, but still many of you are still not aware of this channel. So guys, please check out the description. You will get the direct channel link. Just go there and support it. I generally upload some cool exclusive content on this channel and some of my experimental videos like you can see that the Chikrin Pong OS things and the other stuff. So please go there, check out this channel and support it. I hope you guys will like it. So now let's continue today's process. Hey everybody. This is just a tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the windows method that can help you to bypass the iCloud activation lock screen on the latest iOS 16 as well as for the older iOS 15. But for this video, I will more focus on the iOS 16 devices that support the checkmate exploit like iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X. But for iOS 15 devices like iPhone 6s to iPhone X, I will make the separate dedicated video. So stay tuned for that so this is gonna be complete step-by-step -step tutorial so watch the video till the end so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process now step number one you need to download this hfz ram disk 1.1 also the itunes must installed in your system so for all the download links you can check out description or go to my blog you will get everything there and also the important thing the itunes must installed from the apple official website do not install the itunes that comes with the microsoft store so these are some important steps you need to follow before using any ram disk tool as all works with the itunes that are comes with the apple website as the microsoft store version has some issues with this tool so i recommend you use that one only after that you need to fix the itunes driver also so i will just show you how you can do that very easily in a single click so just follow me step by step and also there is another important step you need to follow it before you extract the tool or run it so first you need to disable your antivirus or if you have a windows defender you can disable it if you want to do the bypass process as sometimes the windows firewall or defender or antivirus may restrict or block this bypass app and give some restriction in the process so for the smooth and working process make sure you disable all these things after that you can extract and run the tool and the tool is completely safe so do not worry about it it's just that the firewall blocks some connection of the tool and it will create some restrictions in the tool process so better off them and after that you can run it now once you open the tool you will get the setting option here you will get some tool fix only use them if you have any issues with your drivers or other stuff otherwise you can ignore this part you will get the driver fix option if you have any issues with your itunes drivers or ram disk not failed or sh error so everything you can fix it with this drivers option just click on that it will fix the itunes driver to the standard one that is compatible with the ram disk method now along with that you will get other options also to enable or disable the driver signature enforcement so with that if you want to install some other third party drivers you can first enable it after that you can install it that is for the developer option so if you want to do that you can do otherwise ignore this option as your case is completely simple if you want to just bypass fix the itunes drivers and everything good to go and also there is a zadiac device manager this utility help you to replace the usb drivers or apple dfu drivers if you want to put your device into the pawn dfu mode externally then you can use this tool in that you can replace the usb drivers and after that you can put your device into the pawn dfu mode if you remember my this caster pawn dfu mode windows video in that i've explained the same utility and the whole process to put your device into the pawn dfu mode with the gaster method so these are same process in that you will get included in this tool so this is the external things if you want to try that you can do otherwise no need to touch these things just fix the drivers and after that do the bypass process also you will get the device manager shortcut icon so these are some setting options that are available in the tool all right now let's try the tool first connect your device after that go to the settings then device manager after that go down and you will see the apple usb drivers click on the property go there and check the version of the apple drivers and the year now the version must be same like 6.0 and onwards 9 and the year must be the 2017 if the same version showing on your side then everything is good if you are showing the 2021 drivers or 2022 or the any other driver year that means your drivers is not fixed so make sure 
then you need to fix the drivers so for that download the itunes from the apple website next go to the tool settings and click on the fix driver option after that you will see the drivers is fixed reconnect your device and then you are good to go now everything looks good next copy the ecid from the hfz tool or you can copy it from the three tools also now you need to register this ecid so for that go to my blog you will get all my social media handle links there or you can check out the description link you will get the direct links also there now you need to contact me on telegram for the registration you can send me the ecid plus your model number and after that i will register it so i will display all the important things on the screen like what are the supported devices and the registration code so you can pause the video and read it out now once your device is registered you are ready to use the tool connect your device again and click on start it will put your device into the recovery mode directly so just wait for the screen so now you can see the device is in the recovery mode now click on the dfu helper to put your device into the dfu mode if you know already how to put your device into the dfu mode manually you can try it and if you are not aware of that click on the dfu helper option follow the instruction on the screen to put your device into the dfu mode once you do that you will see the black screen on your device and the mode selected is dfu on the tool screen now take the ios 16 checkbox if you are on ios 15 do not take this is only for the ios 16 devices now just click on the bypass option now just wait for it to complete the process it will download some damn disk files and do the checkmate exploit and put your device into the pawn dfu mode so it will take time according to your internet speed so make sure you connect it with a fast Wi-Fi so that the download of the RAM disk file will be go smooth and your device will successfully bypass after that. So I will not fast forward this video because you will see that the each stage of the bypass process like pawn DFU mode and then RAM disk and after that it will activate. And if you see some errors like SSH not connected, that means your device is not fixed. So you can retry the process. Also, you can fix the iTunes drivers. And if you see that the RAM disk file is not found, that means your internet is slow. So you can use the fast Wi-Fi. After that, it will go smooth. And the same process for the iPad cellular that is supported by the Checkmate. So I've just shown you the complete supported devices list. So you can read that and after that you can proceed. And in some devices, when your device will go into the RAM this stage, you will see the verbose booting on your device like many of the instruction going on the device screen. So just wait for it, it will go further and it will continue the bypass. In some device it will show and in some devices your device will go into the black screen like a DFU. So now you can see the device is successfully activated and you can get on the message on the tool and your device will reboot automatically but in some devices the device will go into the black screen even it's completely bypassed. So in that particular case you need to force restart your iPhone like older model you have to press the home button and power button for 10 seconds and your device will on and if those devices don't have the physical home button you need to press the volume up volume down and side power button for 10 seconds after that you will see your device will force restart so these are some particular case if you get into that situation you can just force restart your iphone and everything looks good so now you can see that we have successfully bypassed our device and this bypass is untethered bypass so if you want to reboot the device you can do it normally it will not lock again and also this bypass support the ota update so you can update from the settings also you can use the app store 
but some things will not work like the sim services will not work also the i services may not work so let me just restart the device and show you it's a complete untethered bypass So here we are you can see that the device is working good after the reboot also so that is how you can use the hfz activator ram this 1.1 and easily bypass your iphones or ipad on your windows machine so no need of mac now so you can try it same method and if you want to register your ecid check out the description link you will get all my social media handle links there so i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out